In this video, I'll show you how to write a sinusoidal expression for current when given voltage and impedance. The question reads, a voltage of 142 times sine at an angle of 200T is applied to a given circuit. Write a sinusoidal expression for the current I when the impedance is 8.60 at an angle of 54.5. The first step to doing this, as outlined here, is to convert voltage to complex form. So let's go ahead and convert this sinusoidal function into complex form. And the way I will do that is by using the amplitude of the equation of 142 as the Vmax for polar form. That being said, our Vmax currently is 142. And I'll take this number, 142, and divide it by the square root of 2. Now according to our sinusoidal function, we don't have a phase angle. So we can say that our phase angle is 0 degrees. 142 divided by the square root of 2 gives us approximately 100. So we have 100 at an angle of 0 represents our equation in complex form. Step 2, we have to divide the voltage by impedance z. And the reason why is because there's a relationship between voltage, current, and impedance. And it's actually right here, where in order for us to find the current, we divide both sides by Z, and we end up with V over Z is equal to the current. So let's go ahead and divide this number, 100, at an angle of 0, by the impedance, which is 8.60 at an angle of 54.5. When it comes to dividing two numbers that are in polar form and are complex numbers, we first divide the radii, and I do have a video dedicated on this subject, and we end up with 11.6, 11.6, and you also subtract the angles. So in our case, we have phi is equal to zero here, minus 54.4, that gives us negative 54.5. So this number right here represents the current, and it's in polar form. The last step is to convert the complex form current to its sinusoidal form. And the reason why we're doing that is because they specifically ask us for sinusoidal expression. So let's go ahead and do that. This number, 11.6, represents our effective current. And effective current is equal to I max over the square root of 2. So let me just write that down and in case you're confused that's this part right here. Effective current represented by I subscript EFF is equal to I max over the square root of 2. This number represents the effective current and to find I max we multiply both sides by the square root of 2. So multiplying the left side by the square root of 2 and the right side as well gives us I subscript max. Using our calculator, 11.6 times the square root of 2 gives us approximately 16.4. So 16.4 will represent I max. And so let's go ahead and write this down current is equal to 16.4 sine and keep in mind our original equation had an angular velocity of 200 that's omega therefore our current equation will also have that configuration with the angle minus 54.5 degrees and there you have it that is how to write a sinusoidal expression for current when given voltage and impedance.